you love cars and are looking for a holiday somewhere warm and far from the rat race, you could do a lot worse than adding red Senonats to your bucket list. Held each September in Alice Springs, the event brings over 800 entrants from all walks of the country to converge on the town, one of the best examples of an automotive festival in the world. What makes Red Senonats different is that for the duration of the weekend, you can drive the wildest cars imaginable on the public roads with the blessing of police. Have you driven these cars on the streets before today since you've owned them and built them this way? <laughs> Officially, no. There this is, is the first time. There, there has been um, one other event in a, in a local Victoria sort of country town that we did. It only ran for a couple of years, but that's sort of finished up now. So, yeah, this is really it. That's why we drove nearly 3,000 k's to get here. For the more adventurous, there are plenty of activities to put your car to the test. These include the dirt motor carna, where entrants can race against the clock on a tight course to see who has the best combination of driving talent and vehicle ability. At the other end of the scale is the show judging, where rolling works of art are assessed for their looks, engineering excellence and technical superiority. We break the cars down when we judge them into six categories. There's body, paint, interior, engine bay, undercarriage, and then just an overall appearance score. But the thing that we're, I guess, will always win will be the quality. It's always about the, the best quality the cars usually win. The event that really draws the crowd is the burnouts. It might look crazy, but burnouts are one of the fastest growing forms of motorsport in the country. Burnouts are scored in a similar way to surfing or ice skating, with a panel of judges awarding points for style, smoothness and skill. And popping tyres is mandatory. The top performers at Red Senonats will earn the right to take a shot at the Burnout Masters title, which is the ultimate prize for this crazy sport. There is a lot at stake, and the drivers push their cars to the limit to get that winning edge. All the hard-hitting action takes place here at Alice Springs Inland Dragway. We've got the burnout pad behind me, but more importantly, we've got this beautiful drag strip. While it's only 400 metres, a lot of the entrants will get down this strip in around seven seconds and at 300 kilometres an hour. The fastest cars compete for a slice of a $20,000 prize pool in several classes. here on Saturday afternoon for the street parade. The streets are closed off to the public and all 800 entrants get in their cars and cruise around the centre of Alice Springs. It's an awesome automotive parade that you won't see anywhere else on Australian soil. The whole event comes together for the Grand Champion Award. This takes high scoring show cars and makes them face off in a bunch of driving events to prove who has the best mix of show and go. Brent, you're the grand champion for 2019 Red Senonats. How do you feel right now? Um, amazed at the moment. I'm absolutely ecstatic. I've been trying to win one of these for a while now and the um, car's been second or in the top five or, you know, it's been the bridesmaid for a while, so I'm very happy with this one. If this sounds like fun, you can fly into Alice Springs, grab a hire car and enjoy the show. But if you really want the whole experience, book a week's holiday and drive here. You'll see a side of Australia most people never get to see, take in some great sights along the way and get to participate in a car festival unlike anything else on Earth.